how to knot, get tied up in knots. Hi guys and welcome back to uh, FNS BUP. Um, in this little short one, um, I'm just going to run through a couple of, I think, sort of more knots um, over and above the trucker's hitch and the Canadian jam knot that we have done in a previous video. You can have a look at that, that will be in the uh, playlist descriptions will be in there, have a look in there. Very interesting, two very important knots. This is a bit of a follow on from that. So these knots I'm going to show you today are primarily going to be used for when shelter building. Um, you can use them for making beds, you can use them for all sorts of A-frame shelters, you can use them for maybe stretchers if you need to stretch, some, stretch somebody out. Basically anywhere where you're going to be needing to tie together poles, poles to poles. And there's other ways you can do these, but these are just a couple of simple ones. So we're going to start off with uh, what's called a clove hitch, which is how to start off your knot or your lash, as it were. So you've got two poles you want to connect together, okay? And there's two easy ways of doing this. Well, one's more simple than the other. If you've got access to the end of a pole like that, all you've got to do is take your cordage and make a loop okay and then you make a loop the same way and you pass the second loop that you've made over the top of the first loop put it over the end of your pole and pull tight and that is how you start now that is called a clove hitch very easy very simple knot I'll do that again okay so Make a loop, make a loop, on the second loop you put on top of the first loop and put them both over the end of the pole and just pull it all tight and when you're done it should look nice and neat like that. Now if you want to stop that from slipping and moving you can sort of finish it off and just put a simple overhand sort of stop knot in your tag end so that when you pull tight on that it's not then going to pull through but that's entirely up to you as personal choice so if you're not that confident at the beginning that'd be a good thing to use just gives you that extra bit of security okay so that's the clove hitch and that's how you start when you attach your first bit of rope to there okay so now what we need to do is this is called a square lash and we get our cordage and we go underneath and up this side over the top okay like that and then underneath and over the top okay and once you've kind of gone around once you can then pull nice and tight on that pull it all together and let it bind really tight Put your thumb on the top to trap it. That stops it coming undone whilst you're working with the rest of your cordage. So you pass it underneath, and then back up, trap it again, over the top. And then we're then going underneath. So you're essentially just going under and over, under and over, under and over. Now you want to do that about three to four times. I would recommend no less than three. Um, more is up to you, but you can go a little bit over the top. On average, I've found sort of four, three to four wraps is more than enough around the whole thing. Okay. So I just again pull on that nice and tight. Okay. Right, now I'll just pinch that for a second. Right, what we now need to do is we call if this, this next one I'm doing called a frap. And this is where we kind of go around in between. So instead of going over and under, over and under, we're going around what we've just done. So when you pull on it, it pulls all that lash nice and tight. So it's extra tight, okay? Uh, Right, so I'm just going to go under and around, so you're coming back on yourself, and then you're going around the centre 
of all of that uh, knot that you've just done, or lash rather. And then we pull that nice and tight, and we go around again. And you see how it's going sort of through the middle now, instead of under and over, yeah? And you only really need to go around that two, maybe three times maximum. Okay. Just give that a really good pull tight. Right, so you know, that brings you back out this side, kind of where you started and where you came from. So we're back over here. Now, we're going to finish with the clove hitch like we started, but you haven't got access to the end of a pole. So this is the second way you can do a clove hitch. Okay. So, over the top of your pole, underneath and then you want to go back over the top so you end up with that kind of loop around your pole so over under and back on yourself okay just set that right I've kind of left it loose so that you can see easier on the camera and you get your tag end that you've come underneath with and you pass it underneath where they cross so you see where they've got the, you've got the crisscross there. You go down and through, get hold of that tag end and pull all that loose through. Oops, that kind of ruined it. <laughs> I'll just pull all the loose back up, don't worry. Bit hard because I'm doing it one-handed because I've got that pinched to hold that tight. Again, always try to kind of keep what you've already done pinched nice and tight just kind of lock it off with the thumb work that close right so you see how you've now got that so there's your clove hitch again and you just work it all that slack out pull it nice and tight now to lock that off extra tight you can do what's called a half hitch which is underneath now instead of going over the top of what you've just done, you're going to go under it, okay? And you'll see, I've got a lot of slack here because I don't know how much I would need for doing the main lash, but you've got that affair. When you've gone over the top, underneath, and back under itself, so that when you pull that slack tight, it takes all the slack up and it just locks it off. That is now not going anywhere. I'll just spin that around so you can see what that uh, looks like. Yeah. Okay. And that really simple, guys. Is a square lash so you start with a clove hitch do your square lash do your frap around the middle and then finish off with a clove hitch and then lock it off with a half hitch okay we may do a breakdown again a little bit slower maybe showing those things again but that's the basics of tying poles together and you could then add another one on the end here coming down there and then you've then got an two uprights and a ridge pole. You do exactly the same knot on here. Makes like a goal post in effect. So you can see kind of how things can then be constructed by using that knot. You can make anything you could possibly need. Those are my go-to knots for when we're out in the woods and we want to build a shelter. They're really easy to learn, very versatile to use. Okay. Just a breakdown and a close-up of the clove hitch. If you have access to the end of the pole, this is the loop version. You do your two loops on top of each other like that. And then on to the end of the pole and pull both ends. Now what you can do, like I explained before when we finished off, um, the square lash, you can make sure you've got a lot of loose cordage. It depends on how much cordage you've got. You can leave yourself a long tag end so you can then come around underneath over the top 
and then go under like that, create a loop. So when you pull that tight on itself, it locks down. So that's kind of locking down onto that. So it's a full clove hitch with a half hitch lock. That's if you didn't want to just do the, you know, the stop knot um, on the end like that, like we did before. So there's two different ways. You can either lock it off with a stop knot or you can just do the half hitch, which will lock it in. It's exactly the same. Okay. Okay, this is going to be a close-up of a clove hitch again, but pretending we haven't got access to the end of the pole. So pretend that's a continuous pole. And this is just going to help you kind of understand how this one works. So over the top and underneath and back over itself so you can see how that, that cross is starting to, to, to form. Okay, you take your tag end back underneath and as you're coming underneath, you can sort of get hold of that cross, lift it up, and bring your tag end underneath. So I'll kind of leave it loose so you can see what's gone where, yeah? And then when you pull them both, you see that? Bring it together, that makes your clove hitch. Okay, so I'll just run through that one more time. So if you haven't got access to the end of a pole, this is the other way of doing your clove hitch. So underneath with your tag end, over itself, back underneath, and as you're coming up to the other side, you can see the, the cross that's been created. You're coming underneath both of those crosses, and you're pulling it straight through, like that. Okay, so two ways for the same knot. One, if you've got access for the loops on the end of a pole, which is dead easy, where you'll come across situations where you haven't got access to the end of the pole, and you just want to tie it direct on, and that's the other way. Hi, right, okay, what we're going to do here briefly is just give you a rundown, a little bit slower breakdown of the square lash, okay. What I've done here is I've started already with the clove hitch and I've just popped a stop knot on just because it's quicker and easier. Okay, so that's how we're starting, like we showed before. Okay, so from that, you then follow the kind of the natural fall of the cordage downwards and underneath the bottom pole okay pass all your cordage underneath then what you're going to do is you're going to come over the top of the wider pole so in effect you've got that okay and you can see that as you pull tighter on that it's going to pull the white pole closer to the brown pole so you come over the top of the white pole okay and then we're going to go underneath the brown pole with all the cordage and pull all that through out the way so you can see that okay quite simple and then you're going to come up and over the top okay and then you just quite simply pull it all down just kind of neaten it all up pull it all in a little bit tighter to itself neaten things up a little bit just give it a good pull on the top there just get all that nice and tight then pinch it with your thumb so you can then let go of the tag end and all what you just tightened isn't going to come undone and you just repeat the same thing so under okay keeping everything nice and tight over the top okay underneath Okay, under there, and over the top, and then underneath, and like I said before, we're going to try and keep this to at least three wraps minimum, okay, I'm just going to give that a bit of a pull tight, okay, so over the top, underneath, and over the top. again just a good pull on that make sure it's all nice and locked down so when you've got kind of three where you've gone over the top and under over the top and under over the top and under and you do that three times we're then going to come down and under and then back up over the top like that and that just kind of locks all that in place 
give it a, another good tight pull push it all in nice and neat now the next part is the frap which is where you're just wrapping all the cordage right around going through the center of all that you've just wrapped okay really easy and again about two or three round that don't want too much okay and then when you give that a nice pull on there that will pull everything in and lock everything in even tighter okay bring it back round to where you started pinch it with your thumb so it's not going to come undone and then you're just going to lock it all down finish it all off with a clove hitch okay which is quite easy to do oh, it's getting a bit cold out here today so excuse my hands <laughs> you're feeling it a bit as well aren't you cameraman yeah <laughs> matthew's on camera by the way today hi guys <laughs> Okay, so you've made your little loop round and you've got your cross on the top as previously described and you're just basically passing your tag end underneath the cross and carefully pull through all of that spare cordage and before I pull it all tight I'll show it you loose just so you can see how that's been done. Okay, so you come over the top underneath the pole back over on itself and you come underneath and threaded the tag end under where they cross over okay so then when you pull all that down nice and tight it locks down nice like that okay and that's your clove hitch to finish off and that is quite simply a square lash will do you for a multitude of things um, and don't forget uh, in the description uh, we will have a link to our patreon page don't forget to like share and subscribe okay um, see you next time